I think it's a huge gamble. It was a big surprise. Yesterday I was just about to walk into a class and one of the students came up to me and I, and I just couldn't believe it. I had to change my, le my lecture plan. So it is a huge gamble. Uh, uh, is it going to pay? It depends on for whom. Is it going to pay for the government? Is it going to be pay for Núñez Feijó and, and the Partido Popular and the main opposition par uh, uh, party? Or is it going to pay off for Spain? I think overall for Spain it is a, it's a good idea. We were, we were going to go through six months of delayed uncertainty, lame government, lots of problems inside the coalition and, uh, and, and, now, and now all this uncertainty has been, will be dissolved in July 23rd if there is a, a decisive vote, which is not clear at all. It's not clear at all as you already mentioned, whether there's going to be a party that will be able to, to invest a, a prime minister because right now the, the, the polls and, and, and the whole situation is really divided and, and every single vote is going to count. Yeah, so you're saying it reduces the wait and see situation for investment, etc., for, for Spain that are having to wait until December. But actually, there could be more instability coming ahead because it's unclear which bloc could have actually a majority. Well, my, you know, my hunch is there will be a change of government. I think, I think there, I, I, you know, I did you know, conversations and the coffee bar just now. Everybody's kind of discounting that that this that this quite dramatic results that we have seen in the local and regional elections will 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 truly represent what's going to happen in the in the general election. So so I think you know if I had to bet, there's a better than 50% chance that that the that the opposition party will will take government, and then perhaps you know policy will kind of normalize a little bit. But 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 remember that once you once you are in the in the European Union and, and especially inside the euro area, the the limits of how far the, the decision margin for, 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 for country governments is limited by, by the growth and stability pact and by the fiscal policy restrictions imposed by the, by the union. So, so even if there is a, a change in government, I don't think there's going to be a great uncertainty on, on major economic laws, major reforms that, that they, they just will not happen. And if they do, there will be a long kind of reasonable lines. Interesting. So let's zoom in on the economy then. We had these inflation figures that came this morning, better than expected in Spain, the inflation really slowing down. And um, in a way, the Spanish economy is, is doing well, um, but that hasn't come at all on the local election campaign. Do you think now that Sanchez is going to start trumpeting uh, all about the economy yeah. during well, this well, okay. election? The, the Spanish economy is doing better than expected, better than we expected six months. And there was all this uncertainty as, as to how was uh, 2023 going to play off. And now with almost you know half of the year gone through, we, we've seen that the economy Spanish economy has proven to be pretty resilient in this in this strange and, and strong circumstances. So uh, yeah, you know, and I, I think it will definitely be an argument. Spain finally will recover the pre-pandemic GDP level in probably already has we are we are halfway through the second the second quarter but but it will certainly the, the official numbers are coming out on june 23rd exactly one month um, before the election and i'm sure they will be trumpeted uh, you know <laughs> by by the official you know by government by the government and it will be part of the campaign arguments for sure mm -hmm. so it depends on what you compare it with so if you compare it with the rest of europe this is a delayed recovery but if you but if you compare it with what we feared it might have been i mean you know here you talk here to, to cab drivers you talk to people in the store in the restaurants, you know, tourists are flocking back in, and, and the Spanish economy is certainly not tanking. And it, I mean, it's not booming exactly, but but there has been a strong recovery, and for the first time, employment, you know, with, with, we change with the, with the furloughs and and the change in in, in, in uh, employment, uh, in labor market regulation, we, we've seen that employment has has has, has resisted. In, you know, we have kept the employment numbers up, maximum historical maximums, even though there is a question about hours, but but people have. have all jobs, they are getting the paychecks, and, and the general mood is not, it's certainly not negative. So I don't know if they, it is the economy's stupid argument is going to work or not, but it, it certainly will be used.